Biblical prophet. And today, I'm going to be teaching you some of the methods that are used in the preparation of alcohol. And for today, I'm going to be giving you three good methods in which alcohol can be produced from. And the first one is the hydrolysis of alkyl halide. Number two is the hydration of alkenes. And lastly, the reduction of the carboxylic acid. So we take the first one. Now, in the first one, under the hydrolysis of alkyl halide, hydrolysis of alkyl halide, we are to react an alkyl halide with aqueous sodium hydroxide, and with that happen, an alcohol is formed. And we can illustrate it by, for example, I'm having an alkyl halide, is alkyl halide plus an aqueous sodium hydroxide. Now, what do we have here? Remember, look at it. This X, which is the A line from the alkyl line, will be removed to so combine with the sodium atom from sodium hydroxide. So we are not that. We are now left with RO and OH that are not being but marked. So here we come RO OH plus sodium A line, which is an alcohol. And so don't feel like. But we'll take a very good example, like from having CH3, CH2, and okay, which is ethyl chloride plus sodium hydroxide. As the rule implies, I told you this one chlorine it combined with sodium, with sodium atom. So we're having sodium chloride plus. A type with the OH give me ethanol. So, so it means that from to get ethanol, it is to react at a type chloride with sodium hydroxide. Now, the reason why this is very important is because there are times in exams, in international exams or national exams, in which you can you be given this. Any of the alkali line, and you'll be given the products. Here will be marked question mark for you to be able to uh, 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 to know what is there. But you can be given these two, and here is like this. So just know how the scheme is very very simple. I will quickly move to number two, and in the number two, it is the hydration of akin. And we use the word hydration; it means water, and the use of water to split an akin. So remember that an akin. Have a sigma bond and a pi bond, and that sigma bond is stronger than the pi bond, so the pi bond is easily broken by the addition of water in the presence of a catalyst, which is a strong catalyst, which is the H2SO4. Now, illustrate it. Okay, I'm having which is number two now. I'm having a double bond, this is let's take for example, and akins. And akins. This is an 18 in the presence of a partial positive and a partial negative. And when that happens here, remember, if the, the pi bond is broken, and if it is broken, the gives room for this one comes here, this one comes here. So I will, I will illustrate it here now. We already have our H here, our H here, our H here, our H here. So we have is a sigma bond okay now this one here becomes h and here becomes what now oh now if you have this is an additional reaction and remember that in additional reaction the unsaturated hydrocarbon are converted to a saturated hydrocarbon now there are some exception that that's an exception now if you are here this a king here is symmetrical, I meaning both sides are equal. There are cases whereby the uh, the akins can be unsymmetrical. In which the double bond, the hydrogen atom between the two double bonds are not the same. A rule is used, and that rule is called the Marconico rule. Now, I'm having something like CH3, okay, CH. Having a CH2 plus H, okay, 
Now, in the presence of H2SO4, please take note, H2SO4. Now, please, observe something here in this reaction. Now, our major focus is where the, the, the double bond between this carbon and this other carbon here. Now, please, take note. Because there are many of you, there are plenty of you to know where to add the hydrogen atom and the hydrogen ion. We give you a structure that is correct. Now, according to the mechanical flow, I will give you like in a layman term, to how much is given, much is expected. In which, between these two carbon, the one that has more hydrogen, so the hydrogen from the water will be added to it. So, the more the hydrogen, the more you add more hydrogen to it. So, for those who have, more is given to them. For those who don't have, the one that they, the one that they have will be taken away from them. So, look at it here. This carbon has only one hydrogen atom. But this other carbon has two hydrogen atoms. So, it means this one will be, be the one to carry this hydrogen. Why this hydrogen will go to the one that has lesser hydrogen? So, simple. So here we have C H3 and C H then O H and here is C H3. And on that note, I'm going to call a two pro par non. See how easy it is. And we also have another one again, like talking about can we have this. CH3 now in presence of H2O which is H2SO4 here yeah, now. Now the same rule applies. Same rule, very simple. Same rule. Now remember here yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I'm having 1, 2. Now remember there's an hydrogen here. Yeah, I don't so look at here yeah, now. The question is where will I have my hydrogen? And where will I add my hydrogen? Now you know, I have told you. The one that has more hydrogen, more hydrogen will be given to it. So yeah, it could mean that the hydrogen atom here will come this way. Why the hydrogen ion here will have to come this way? But this one has no hydrogen atom now. Yeah, it's having no hydrogen, yeah, it's having no hydrogen. So it will not be something. Yeah, so yeah, it will come the CH3 and OH, yeah, it becomes H and H. So that is how easy it is. So, we move to the last one, which is reduction of carboxylic acid. Very simple. Please take note of this. Now, in the reduction of carboxylic acid, it's very, very simple. So, I'm having a carboxylic acid like this. Please take note. Remember, we have basically... We have some reducing agents, and most especially the lithium tetrahydroaluminatile, which is lithium tetrahydroaluminatile. So, if I'm having it here, remember that a reducing agent tend to uh, add more hydrogen atom to it. So, here H two O. Yeah. So, what do we? Very simple. So, it will reduce this carboxylic acid. To a primary alcohol, so I'm having RO, CH2, and OH. Very simple. So if I'm having something like CH3, CH2, and CH2OH, in the presence of a reducing agent of this nature, so what do we have here? So we're having, okay, oh, three. Uh, we have it CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So this is propanol from propanoic acid. And on that very note, we come to the end of this block. Please do it to subscribe because more videos will be uploaded for you for your learning process. God bless you.